gentlemen, thank you for joining us today. I've got nine website mistakes that most small businesses make. Having a website is a huge part of a small business's digital marketing strategy. The website serves as a hub for all the content, the best place for customers to learn about your product, and the most direct way for your audience to communicate with you. It's important to understand how to make your website as effective as possible. Sometimes the best way to do that is to study what others are doing wrong, and in that way, you learn exactly what mistakes not to make. Most small business owners understand the value of a website. There are many small business owners that don't believe a website's important to their business. Most people recognize a website as a requirement to build credibility in the modern business world. Consumers will check there first to discover whether your company's credible. Despite this fact, many small businesses don't actually have websites, primarily because they believe the site is outside their budget. Technically, this is the first mistake that should be on the list, but we're more focused on the mistakes that are often made when the website's built. But know that a website is likely more affordable than you think, and we'd be happy to discuss creating yours with you. These mistakes could kill your small business's website traffic. Here's the kicker. If you've taken the time and made the investment towards having a website for your small business, you want it to work right. It has to get traffic, create engagement, and convert visitors to leads. Otherwise, it's all a waste. The mistakes we're gonna outline will undermine all the work you put into your small business's website. They're guaranteed to have a negative effect on engagement. That means your bounce rate, the number of people who jump off your website before spending any real time on it, will go up. When visitors bounce, they don't become leads. A high bounce rate is also gonna hurt your SEO, which means you'll see fewer visitors long-term. Most small businesses can avoid these website mistakes. The good news is that most of these mistakes are easy to avoid right at the beginning. When your small business first has its website built, all these should be standard practice. That is, as long as your website developer knows what to do. So here they are in no particular order. Your website's not mobile friendly. In 2012, Google made a huge shift. Known the world over as Mobilegeddon, the search giant decided to weigh a website's ability to be viewed on a mobile as part of its search ranking. This officially made mobile design a cornerstone, especially for small business. If your small business's website still isn't mobile friendly, you can guarantee that you won't get the return from it you ought to. Be sure your site's responsive, built with mobile use in mind. With 56% of internet access coming from mobile devices, it's the most likely way that people will find your site. Your website's not intuitive. You ever visited a website that you couldn't navigate? It's frustrating, I bet you left the site as quickly as you could. You see, user interface is everything, and if a user can't make your website work, they'll head to your competitor quickly, and you'll be out the client. There needs to be a logical flow to your small business's website. Your visitors should be able to find the information they want quickly and without any trouble. A clear informational layout, obvious and intuitive navigation, clear color contrast, and crisp text are all key to a site that's easy to use. Your website's got missing or incomplete information. One of the primary reasons a person visits a website is for information. Usually, they want to know about your company, especially the details they might not get through your regular marketing efforts. Things like your mission statement, your contact information, and other less obvious information are all often sought out by your site visitors. Make sure you're not tempted to skip these pieces of information to rush to a site launch. Leaving behind 404 pages or under construction placeholders and other forms of missing content will hurt your conversion rates. Moreover, assure that the information is complete and up to date. If your clients try to call you only to find out that it's an old number, you'll lose those opportunities too. You're not clearly presenting your product or service. You'd be surprised at how often you come across small business websites that don't clearly demonstrate what the company sells. When your visitors go to your website, they want to know what you do. However, service descriptions are often far too ambiguous to help. Make sure you clearly outline what your company offers. Inform your visitors in bits allowing them to dig deeper to find out more information with ease. A clear path to your products and services, as well as an easy way to purchase them from you, are essential to a great site. You keep your visitors in the dark about who you are. As a small business, one of the greatest advantages you can give yourself is a direct relationship with your audience. Despite that, many small business websites don't include information about the company's staff, or at least its frontline or executive team. It's a fatal mistake. Include a section of content that introduces your visitors, to your small business's staff. Pick and choose who you want to include, from the executive team to the front lines, based on who your clients should be building the strongest relationships with. Include pictures of their smiling faces where it makes sense. You don't offer any incentive to stay in contact with your company. If the purpose of your website is to gain leads, you need visitors to offer up their contact information. While an inconsistent email newsletter form may feel like a great way to handle that, there's no way you'll ever use that to gather qualified leads. After all, what incentive are you offering for them to exchange more than an email address? Offer strong lead magnets to your visitors. The higher the perceived value, the more information they'll be willing to exchange. When you can solve a problem for them with a free download, they'll be glad to trade over their name, their contact number, and their company name along with their email address. That means you'll have someone real to connect with.
you're not featuring interesting content on your website. One of the key factors of SEO is website engagement. For your small business, SEO is gonna provide the most effective means of exposure to the audience outside of your personal network. But how can you build positive engagement when like so many other small business websites, you aren't producing content for your market? Plan and produce content on your site that your audience will find interesting. Put together a strategy that'll tap your small business's expertise to inform and engage your website visitors. Create buzz by distributing the right content through the right social channels at just the right time to get your followers to tap in and share it. You're not telling your site visitors what you want them to do. Your site's live. Your audience has found their way to it, diving into interesting content that your team has produced, but now what? They've reached the end of that content and there's no indicator of where to go or what to do next. They're gonna leave. Every point of contact in your website for your target audience needs a call to action. Give instructions to your visitors on how to engage with your small business next. This is not only a great place to include a lead magnet, but also an opportunity to direct them at more content relevant to their interests or aim them at a product that might be a fit. When they know what to do next, they'll stick around longer, giving you a better shot at the sale. Visitors can't share your content easily. Would you believe that a large portion of the population doesn't know where the address bar on their browser is? It's rather incredible in that regard that so many small business websites rely on their customers to find the URL there when they want to share great content. It's a failing proposition. Include share buttons on every piece of content that you create. Your website visitors should be able to share your small business's content with a quick click of the mouse. Share links are super easy to add too. Services like Add This or Share This and Buffer, as well as many platform specific options, make software that's simple to integrate into any website. A great small business website never ever misses the essentials. These mistakes are easy to plan around and simple to avoid. All your small business needs is a plan when you build your website. Taking these essentials into play, your website will provide a return on your investment that well exceeds your expectations. That's it for this week, everybody. I thank you again for joining us. Like I said, now we're on the weekly platform, so expect to see another one of these next Friday. I hope this information provided real value to you and you can start applying it the next time you either build a website or rebuild your website or when you get your first website built. Regardless of what your next step is in that process, Again, make sure you use this information. Go double check your existing website if you already have one. Make sure these things are in place. And if they're not, make sure you get them there so you can start actually seeing a benefit from your website. Again, we'll see you next Friday. Have a great week. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce you to our ultimate website checklist. This is a five-step guide to prepare to build your new website. That doesn't matter whether you're building a brand new website or whether you're rebuilding your existing one. You see, being prepared to build your website, it's a critical way to shrink timeframes and to get launched faster. And this guide helps you do exactly that. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to visit visceralconcepts.com slash YouTube website checklist. Fill out the form, first name, last name, email address. We'll email it to you. It's a fast download and you can immediately start planning your website using these important steps. Again, visceralconcepts.com slash YouTube hyphen website hyphen guide. Fill out the form, download the guide, put it to use and see your new website build take off and start getting the results that you should be getting already. Again, if this information that we provided in our video today was of value to you, hit that subscribe button and we will see you next Friday. Have a great week.